first off, I want to start off with saying I really hope that Jake E. Lee is doing all right out there. What's happening, good people? So it's about 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the day of when Jake E. Lee just got shot. And I'm releasing this video way after because I don't necessarily blame the YouTubers for jumping on this and I'm doesn't change really my opinion of them. But I tell you, like as soon as like Eddie Trunk basically broke that he was shot earlier today, the time of this filming, it was in a matter of like 30 to 40 minutes where videos just started coming out saying Jakey e. Lee got shot, Jakey e. Lee got shot. And it's not so much a rant on those YouTubers, it's more about what YouTube has become. That you have to jump on this thing and just try to be the first one to report it so you get all the views and everybody starts running to their channel. It's just like the whole Fender Ultra 2 series that came out today too as well. And I hope it doesn't come off as me being angry again at the YouTubers because I'm still going to follow some of the ones that are out there. But I was scrolling through. Within four hours, there was about 30 videos out there all trying to jump on this story. And I'm even guilty of it myself. I saw a story one time where there was drugs hidden in the back of an amp. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me go throw out a short out there real quick and try to jump on this thing. It's a little bit different. That's a human life. That's just an amp. But I don't know. Is it YouTube that's creating this? Or is it the audience that's creating this? Or is it us as content creators that are creating this? race to just disregard things in life and nature let me know in the comments what you think but again i hope you're all right jakey e. lee and i hope some of the people that put up videos like this have at least done a video on you beforehand before you got shot as always everybody you've been a fantastic audience and remember stay tuned